Hey, for this uh, laser project I'm working on, I have a laser that takes uh, two AAA batteries and then screws together that way. And I want to be able to control the um, control the laser, turn it on and off. So I was having a think about how I was going to do that, whether I'd make something and pull this apart and uh, something that'll press the button, something like that. But then I thought, well, I've got the, in the bag here. I'll just pull it out. So I've got the laser mount. Uh, so that kind of sat in there, and it's got the split in the barrel there. So if you uh, push down on the button and push it in a bit, it holds the button down, and that's uh, at the moment good enough uh, for what I want it to do. And so then I thought, well, I've got that. Why don't I make a fake battery that I can uh, put some leads on and uh, that'll fit uh, fit right in here. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I've uh, drilled a couple of holes on the end there that uh, I can bring wires out from. And I'll just go over to the computer here. I uh, know I could do a screencast of this, but uh, and the tripod's wobbly. Uh, but anyway, I'm here in uh, Google SketchUp. I know I should start using something else because SketchUp doesn't do uh, 3D models so well. Uh, but you can see what I'm trying to do here. This is about the same length as the two AAA batteries. And I've put... Uh, my intention was, this is... Uh, the uh, bumpy end, the nipple end of the battery, and this is the flat end here. So I've recessed the flat end a little more, and I'm intending to put in uh, an M3 uh, pan head bolt, and uh, there's a, a cavity there for a captive uh, nut. And then, this didn't quite work out, I'll show you the 3D print in a minute. Um, but uh, the idea was that I'd have this uh, going all the way through with some inspection holes there to bring the wires out and uh, where I showed you the holes in the laser at the bottom of it um, that's the uh, the bumpy end at that end and so the wires would have come out through that cavity there and uh, there's a bump in the bottom of the um, of the enclosure of the laser battery compartment uh, to meet up uh, with with this here so this doesn't really get in the way um, so that was how I had designed it but of course um, after I did this I didn't whoop, just come back out of there uh, I didn't really let's get back in here didn't really measure how big uh, how thick this was going to be so it was too thin for the uh, printer to print that I should have made it a little bit thicker but uh, it didn't really matter in the end because I'll just bring it back over this way uh, here's the 3d printed faux battery uh, this end is the uh, the nipple and you can see that it didn't um, didn't put the cover on that and there's the little bits of uh, support in there as well. The, I don't know if the light's catching that. It's making my eyes go cross-eyed. Um, and uh, that's the flat end there with the recess. And I don't know if the... Okay, there we go. I was wondering if the camera was going to refocus. Uh, that's the little cavity for the... The light's not quite catching in there, but there's a cavity in there for the captive nut. And uh, same on that end. And I'm going to put in one of these uh, and a 10 millimeter M3 pan head bolt and a nut and a washer. So I'll just do that, I might speed up this bit.
Uh, this end is the the nipple end, and uh, I've got the uh, solder tab in there, lug, and uh, same on this end, and that's the uh, the flat end. And so I've just got uh, the lug here, and then the washer, and then the bolt. Uh, sorry, nut rather. Okay, and then. So then I'm going to take these two bits of enamel wire and I'll solder one up one end and one down the other end and uh, and I'll have them threaded through uh, the holes in the bottom of the laser. Uh, I'll go and solder them off camera and I'll come back. Okay, so that's uh, basically what I've done. I've melted the end of the plastic there a bit while I was soldering. Uh, Okay, and now I'll uh, slip it into the enclosure and see how we go. Got the wires coming through the end there. Just got to make sure that I have it oriented the right, oriented the right way. <laughs> And where I've melted the cap here, it's going to be difficult to get back in. But uh, the spring on the spring on this end should accommodate that. The way I've made this, I've got to put this end in first here. And take this end. Okay. Uh, now that button should be pressed down at the moment. All right, there it is assembled, and I've got the batteries just there, and I'm just going to tap the wire onto it. So there you go. That's all wired up uh, to move on to the next stage.